And I believe Gold Star Parent today is Sybil Martino. Is that correct? That's correct. My Virginia mom. That's correct. All righty. Well, can you tell me a little bit about you and where you live and your son, Michael? Well, um, we live right now, we live in Wintergreen, Virginia. Uh, when Michael was born, we were living on Kwajalein in the Marshall Islands. It was a military base, although we were not military. Um, we were there as, with, a, with contractors. And I guess maybe it was Michael growing up in that military environment may have been what triggered his um, strong urge to be a patriot. And to, and to, I guess he, thought, he always wanted to fly... Even as a small child, he would, like I came to three years old, he'd be sitting there on a couch going through a, uh, a large book with planes in it. It was just something that he was just destined to do, I believe. So he was, he was, a, pi a, pilot. He was a pilot? Yes. Yes, he, uh, he flew Cobra helicopters. So he was a helicopter pilot. What do you think the word patriot meant to him, and what does it mean to you? Uh, well, to Michael, he, as I said, he loved his country from the time he was a little kid. He always, um, as a little boy, chose his football team, the Washington Redskins, because I guess he believed it had to do with a patriotic team, I guess. Uh -huh. Even though he was not from Virginia at the time, he just even chose that, like the Washington Redskins. Can you tell me a funny story about Michael that makes you smile? Oh, I probably, <laughs> probably the thing that makes me laugh the most is that uh, we got a dog after Michael left home, a little Lhasa Apso. It was a female dog, and she, you know, I always comb her hair and have um, bows in her hair and everything. And when Michael would come back um, from being deployed or whatever, or come back to visit, I always tried to get him to walk the dog, and he, yeah, he was absolutely adamant that he was not going to walk a dog with a bow in her hair. <laughs> I know what my, Michael was like. <laughs> <laughs> Little too feminine, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. We kept trying to tell him it was a good way to meet women, though, but he uh, still wouldn't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give to parents of soldiers in the field? I, I guess I would say that um, I think everybody has a destiny, and I think Michael, like I said, was was always destined to um, be a pilot and we just need to you know support our children what they decide to do and I know that um, he would not have been happy doing anything else he told us at one point you know that if anything was to happen to him to please not be mad that he was doing what he loved what he believed in and he just said you know if, if I should get killed please you know just move on with your life of course, it's a lot easier to say than to do. Did you take comfort in that, though, Sybil, that he had said that to you? No, I, I'd still rather have him back. Of course. Of course. No, but I, I guess I, I should say that I, I'm glad that he, he may not have lived as long as a lot of people do, but he's probably lived more in the short amount of time that he lived than most of us do in a lifetime, so... I'm glad that he was able to do what he loved and believed in. If you could say one thing to him now, Sybil, what would you say? I guess what I would say to him is that I I would give anything to have him back and that I miss him very much, that he's our hero and that we're very, very proud of him. And we were very, very lucky to have him as our son. I'm sorry, it's Bobby McGowan again. Yes, Bobby. I wanted to um, just share something with all the parents who are on this conference today. My students made a t-shirt to honor Stephen, and they picked this quote, true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. And that's by that's G.K. True. Chesterton, and I think that, that we could all say that's true. It's amazing how smart these children are these days, isn't it? I think they have a very good English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 